Okay, so today's video, can blind people use phones? or cell phones, or technology, or the internet, or Facebook, or Twitter, or Gmail. I'm being sarcastic. Be sure to follow me to find out the real answer. Thank you so much. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. All right, so I get asked questions all the time and sometimes I really genuinely want to have a teaching moment and I want people to learn and to understand and to know, but at the same time, can, can people stop assuming that because I'm blind, I am stupid? I am not stupid. I had someone just this week on Twitter, in a, in d they were DMing me, so direct messaging me, and saying, you can't really be blind because then you can't use Twitter. Uh, come again? Are we not in 2019? Do we not have people that go to the moon in outer space? Do we not have people who they make robots? Why is this so impossible? Um, did you pass kindergarten? I don't know. So yes, I can use technology. I am blind, not stupid. There is a way around most things. So I have a iPhone, uh, I think it's an iPhone 6. Um, which, by the way, this is a shout out to the CNIB Phone It Forward program. If you, if anyone watching this, if you have old iPhones sitting at home, please, 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 please donate them to the CNIB Phone It Forward program because they make opportunities and privileges happen for people who may not normally have access to these tools. Um, I would never be able to afford a phone or a phone plan because I'm a blind girl on a blind budget. All right, I'm in the process of trying to um, get my life sorted out, figured out, because uh, I also have other health issues and I'm trying to find work that works with me. And that is really, really hard to do uh, because there are very few people who want to hire sighted people. And the job that I was doing and the work that I was trying to complete, it actually has become increasingly hard with my vision and health the way it is. So that being said, Please donate your old iPhones. All right, enough of, enough of that. So my phone has something on it called Voice Over. So with Voice Over, okay, I have it will read things to me. So I actually can't see my phone. Now here's a trick you need to know about blind people. Some blind people who have had sight will still have the habit of looking, or like their it looks like their eyes are looking at what they're focusing on. That is a, you can tell if someone's had sight and lost it or have never had sight because of the way they interact with their surroundings. So the same with, you know, my family has noticed that when I'm with, with other people that are blind who have been blind from birth, when you're talking to me, I turn my head and I'm facing you and my eyes might even, in a way, look like they're looking at you because I am directing my attention to the sound. I'm trying to be fully engaged with my surroundings. Someone who's never had sight, they will not do that. Like they might be trained to do a little bit where they turn, um, or they might be engaging a little bit, uh, but it's not going to be as noticeable as it is someone who's had sight and lost it. So, and even still, people who are born blind, they might still direct their face towards their phone. Um, that doesn't mean that they're lying to you and they can see it. It just means that that's a habit that they have. So here is my phone. Hopefully the volume is up all the way so you can actually hear what I hear. I'll hold it up, hopefully. 12.28 p.m. So that reads the time to me. I unlock it. Reading. Search field. Okay. Double tap to edit. <laughs> this was an old this was an old app. I was looking app for switcher. apps. Close app switcher. Messenger. Act app one. Closing. I don't mind reading my private messages. Mail. So everything pshht, everything on my phone. Double tap to open. Everything on my phone is voiced over. So it reads all the apps that are on here. Actually, I don't use all these apps. The only thing I use on this phone, because I did not grow up with a cell phone, like I said, I did not have money for a phone. So the Phone It Forward program is really awesome because I got an iPhone for free, and I also got six months plan with Rogers. Thank you, shout out to Rogers. Um, neither CNIB or Rogers are sponsoring me, and I, I feel like they should. Because, like, the only reason I'm mentioning them is so that if you live in Canada and you're looking for resources, it's a resource to you. But 
to be honest. They, they should be giving me some kind of compensation for mentioning them. Anyways, uh, so all of my apps are voiced over, so I'm going to hold it up so hopefully you can hear. Let me make sure my volume is up. Now my volume is up. Okay. Calendar. Photos. Camera. Maps. Clock. Weather. Home. Notes. Stocks. News. Reminders. App Store. iTunes Store. Books. Health. Wallet. Settings. Page two of three. Adjustable. So that's the end of the apps on that page. So I can go to the next page. To adjust the page three of page three of three. Adjustable. Doc. Safari. Messages. Oops. So page ringtones. Ringtones. Messenger. So I'll show you how I use Messenger. Tap to open. Um, so my phone, if a sighted person grabbed my phone and tried to work it, they actually would not be able to because it, it works with the voiceover program on it. It works it totally different because I think, because I was asking someone who was sighted, like when you normally use a phone and you just tap on it and it automatically opens. This one, because I'm blind, I have to touch the screen. I have to swipe one way or the other to find my app. So I'm going to go into Messenger and I actually have two Messenger accounts. I have one that's on my phone and I have one that's actually my Facebook. <laughs> so this one has its own Messenger um, app because um, it's, if I'm not home, it takes data to talk on Messenger. So the only person I really talk to when I'm out of the house is my fiance. <laughs> so I double tap. To open Messenger. Met settings button. Ashley Stewart. Chats camera new chat search search, search. field. Sweetheart red heart. That's my fiance. You. Kiss Ashley Stewart. Is the phone working? Okay, Wednesday. so that's something I said to myself. So that's not even open to the messages. So I double tap to open. Ashley Stewart. Is the phone working? Ashley Stewart, Wednesday. Is the phone working? So I said that. Now, the way to write Actions a message. Available. Shush. The way to write a message um, is I can swipe through. Battery. O open. Can open. Long press A. Text field. And I double click on that. Double tap to edit. Which Compose will open my keyboard. Which will open my keyboard. And. So there's two ways that I can type a message. I can flick through all of the letters. So to say hi, watch how long it would take me to flip through the letters. Cat I, cat o, cat P. Actually, it started on the keyboard because I, I must have touched there. Cat F, cat F, cat D, cat F, cat G, cat H. H. Cat F, D, F, A, P, O, I. I. If I. You get it memorized pretty much. And then to go up to send it, what T R E W Q waving hand his hi sent message okay so you see how long that took me there's also a dictate uh, option that I can do so I find it I find that button by putting my finger onto the home button I don't push anything I slide it up space until it says space and I slide a little bit to the left dictate dictate I double tap double tap to hi I double tap. So I, I double tap with two fingers to end my message, and to find the send button faster, I actually put my finger on the phone and I slide return. it up. Return. Delete. Delete. L. L. P. P. Waving hand. Whatever emoji Prediction. that emoji protection that they think is appropriate, because apparently I can't find my own emoji. I lost place because I'm talking with my hands. Return. Delete. L. P. Waving hand. Send message. Send message. And there's also emojis on here too. Open stickers. Oh, stickers. Emoji picker. There we go. Button. Close These are kind of funny. Sticker. Hi. Waving cat. Sticker. Silly. Cat on scooter. Double tap to sense. Sticker. Determined. Cat playing with yarn. Sticker. Love. Cat with heart. Uh -huh. So on my emoji. phone. My tap. program can tell me stickers. Three of three. On my laptop, it cannot. Tap. So text field is uh, editing. I don't know if Search it can read really close can it trending. GIF. 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 No, it can't read me GIFs. GIF. GIF. Trend. Close. Com text. Sticker. Selected. GIFs. Emoji. Emoji. Tap. Type a message. Fr smileys and Oops. frequently used. Frequently used. Frequently used. 
Smileys and people. Freak selected. Oops. I don't Linking use emojis. Face with oh, red great. heart. Red heart. Winking face with stuck out tongue. Crying face. Oh, I just realized I probably should hold this up so you can see it. So let me readjust my camera. I don't think it will let me. Oops. It won't let me readjust, so I'm sorry if it's out of focus. Face with tears of joy. Face with heart-shaped eyes. Unamused face. Okay hand. Okay, so that is how I use my phone. Um, also, a really cool thing that I can do with this is Siri. I can ask Siri, as a blind person, where I am. So if I am lost, if I'm out walking and I get turned around and I'm like, wait, I think I, I missed a corner or something, I can hold Siri and I can say, Siri, where am I? And Siri will help me find where I am and give me that address. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want it reading my address to the entire, uh, entire YouTube world. Um, and then once you have uh, contacts entered, I think every, everyone with Siri can do this. Um, 12.36 p.m. So I can turn Siri on. Hi. Siri, call mom and dad landline. I don't see mom in your contacts. What is your mother's first and last name? Okay, never mind. Okay. No, oh, I wasn't talking to you. Okay, so let me try that again because I know I have the contacts set up as mom and dad landline. Call mom and dad landline. What is your mother's name? Call me. I don't see mom in your contact. Call me. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Ashley Stewart. Why do you say my name wrong? Call. You're Ashley. That's what you told me. Anyway. Yes, I did. Possible to tell. But contacts. Oh, I need help. Alright, so. Oh no, I don't want to go into contacts because I don't want people to. Contacts. I don't want people to. Okay, let me try this again. Call mom and dad home landline. Calling mom and dad home landline. Home. Now, here's a cool aspect. If I hold it upright like this, it works like a regular phone, not on speaker. If I turn it, It goes on speaker. How cool is that? 